I'm not a crazy Zelda fan. I don't know what you're talking about. So let's talk about Hyrule Warriors. Is this the Zelda game that we needed to breathe life into this series? So before we jump in, I want to welcome you to the newest series that we're going to be running here at Eligible Monster. We're going to be giving you a fast two to three minute overview review of the game so that you know our opinions about the title. But since we're not actual reviewers, we're just people who enjoy video games, I don't want to give that too much weight since we're just people who enjoy video games. But we're going to follow it by what this game made us think about. Because no matter who you are, you've developed an opinion about a game as you were going through it. So before we go into this, let me give you my caffeinated opinion about this title. First, the combat system is beautiful with combos for each of our heroes, super moves for each hero, and a focus move for each hero. The combat is swift and it got me amped up on more occasions than I would like to admit. Yes, there are moments that you just find yourself hitting the primary combo button, I mean this is based on Dynasty Warriors, while you're destroying armies upon armies of trash enemies, but when you're trying to maintain a low damage taken, even those moments can get your heart going as you watch for every moment to dodge. As for combat, my only real complaint is that some characters are obviously more powerful than others, Link and Ganon primarily, but the combat just feels good overall. The graphics were okay, and on the Wii Pad they look great, but on the TV they just look like a blown up version of the Wii Pad. I was a bit disappointed by this, but I made Zotico play on the TV, so it really didn't matter much to me. The story, now this really stuck with me because the story, while supposedly not canon, fits perfectly into almost every Zelda timeline. I don't want to give you very many spoilers on the story, but if you're interested, we already created a complete story to cover the events of this game. Now, for extra modes and replayability, this is where the game really stuck with me. We have our normal Legend mode, which has 18 missions that can be played on four difficulties, and you also have to collect two collectibles per level. One of those you can't even get on your first playthrough. Then we also have Adventure Mode, which has over 100 scenarios for you to tackle, each with its own collectibles and special taskings for you to complete. We also have a bunch of characters that you need to unlock legendary weapons on and level those characters up. They also seem to have removed some of the grind that I'm used to having in a Dynasty Warriors game to some extent by letting you purchase levels on your characters that you don't play very often. So when you have to be them for certain missions, you aren't crazy far behind. Overall, the game is a lot of replayability if this is your cup of tea which the story itself will give you at least 10 hours just to barrel through. So yeah, that's my opinion of this new game in general. So for this new series of review slash discussions, I would rate Hyrule Warriors an 8 out of 10 with the repetitive nature of Dynasty Warriors gameplay forcing you to take a breather every few hours. But hey, what do I know? I'm just an overcaffeinated geek. But there's more to this. Playing through this game, my love for Zelda was suddenly revived across the board. So let me ask you the same question that I asked at the start of this review. Is this the Zelda that we needed to breathe life into this series? Don't get me wrong, A Link Between Worlds was a great Zelda game. You clear dungeons, you get items, you get to go through puzzles, you get to roam an overworld map looking for secrets and defeating enemies. It was the Zelda gameplay that I've come to love and expect. But that's where my point comes into play. For us longtime Zelda fans, the fans that have been on board with this franchise since the start, this is definitely starting to become a stale formula. It's not a bad formula by any means. I'll be there day one for each release of a new Zelda to jump right in and get back into the usuals. But if you go to your local sandwich shop every day and you order your favorite sandwich, eventually what you loved about that sandwich just becomes nothing special. It just becomes routine. It's still a great sandwich, but your taste buds just don't care about it anymore. And that's how I feel about the Zelda franchise. Maybe it's because we're getting remakes now and that really makes me realize that we're getting the same sandwich over and over, but I found myself unable to finish the Wind Waker HD remake. And A Link Between Worlds, I had no desire to run through the game a second time on the hero difficulty. And isn't this a problem for a series that I found myself playing over and over just to be able to do it again? Now, like I said, I'm not shitting on this series. It's an incredible franchise with a massive history behind it that just forces me to buy anything that says Zelda on it. The faster gameplay, the storyline that actually fit into the timeline, and playing other characters in the franchise. I know that this isn't canon and is not official, but they did such a good job with this game that you wouldn't even know that it wasn't just by playing the game. It's such a rich franchise that I'm just saying, maybe it's time for a little honey mustard on our Zelda franchise sandwich. Maybe put a combat system in that allows you to combat hordes of enemies. Maybe put in some new tools finally. Or maybe just give Link a motorcycle. Oh, no, no, wait, that's already happening in Mario Kart. I don't know the fix that we need for the main franchise, and maybe that's why I don't develop games. But I am saying that maybe it's just time for Nintendo to mix the formula up just a little bit. Or maybe they'll just keep remaking the same game for the new generation every few years, and that's what their goal is. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments down below? And I'm Benny for Eligible Monster, and I'll see you guys next time.